I'm your host, Brittany, and this is my <laughs> colleague right here. Don't mind him. This is just a fly. By the title of today's video, you guys already know the dealio. We're going. I'm coming out with a porno, and yes, I'm hitting garlic from the back. Okay, no, it's not. That's not. On. Stop, bro. We are going on a one star date versus a five star date. And what we mean by that is like bad restaurant versus a very good restaurant. The bad restaurant might be better. You never yeah. know. We're gonna go. We're gonna rate the service. service. We're gonna rate the cost. Cool. And the food, yeah, on the taste wise. And oh, everything. and we have to get a drink, a beverage, like a, an alcoholic drink, so that way we can let y'all know. Because sometimes, you guys, let me tell you, the Chili's Mixed Margarita sometimes is better. Nah. Guys, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, hit the post notification, and the first restaurant up is TGI Fridays. I was actually very surprised to see that it only had one star. It used when to be I good in my little, opinion. When I was little, when I was it was, little, so, it was so good. I know. I don't know what happened. When guys, comment little, down below if you guys know what happened to that restaurant. And when I was little, I would always get so excited going. Like, Dude, my parents too. my parents would always take us, like, well, they would try to go on a Friday because it's TGI Fridays. And that was, like, big for us because, like, I didn't grow up with, like, any money, you guys. So the minute that, like, my dad took, like, the whole family out, it was, like, oh, my God. Like, it was, like, crazy for us. So we got to go to TGI Fridays. Fridays on a damn Thursday guys so we will meet you guys there and we have a special guest with us cuz a one-star restaurant comes with a one-star motherfucker big sips what turn the camera back around. I'm a zero star yeah. you've had TJ Fridays before huh I've never had no. no way not even when you're a kid what a lame motherfucker what the fuck? <laughs> I will sue you <laughs> you said you not me <laughs> So since this is a one-star restaurant, we are wearing one-star outfits because you're not going to dress all fan. <laughs> okay, mine is a one-star outfit. Your, Bernice is a casual. Mine Hers is casual. Yeah, her, she looks I'm nice. I'm going to change my bag to my Prada bag. Yeah, you can't wear a nice bag like this to TGI Fridays. Like, I'm just going to change It's a one-star restaurant. You got to look one-star. That's not why. Okay, are you going to dress up all fancy at a one-star restaurant? Actually. That's going to be for the five-star. We're going to dress nice for the five-star. So I'm going to change my bag right now to my Prada bag. It's my Prada fanny pack, and I'm tired of... Carrying this around because sometimes when I bend over it like falls. Invest in a fanny pack. Them bitches is my favorite. So we got um Vision Studios hoodie on right here, you already know. Um, and then we got some cargo sweats from TNA. No, it's from what's it called? Bro, it's not that serious. And then that she got some air man. forces on. No, the here. forces are from major oh, waves. Oh. All right, let's see your bummy so, ass outfit. This is a TGI Friday's outfit. You know, we got the weed crocs, we got the socks. This is a crazy outfit. We got the champion. We got a shirt that don't even fit you no more. You can see your nipples like crazy through them bitches. <clears throat> my hair is all over the place, you know. Oh, speaking of I hair. might throw on this SpongeBob jacket. Oh my God. Oh. Seb, bring your ass over here. Show them your fit for TGI Friday's. What is your fit? I have fit? no idea I was even going, so I just pulled up. You know, knee brace, Nike sweats, Jordan 1s. Crazy. Black tee. Crazy. Loki, you're, you're wearing too good of a stuff. What do you rate this outfit? <laughs> this is a crazy outfit. What do you rate it? Give it a solid 8 out of 10. What? It's a 1 out of 10. She said that my taste, but guys, let's go. But the weed crocs, I think, should be changed into like... White crocs. Um, hello? Speaking of hair. Oh yeah. Guys, Brittany just cut her hair. Round of applause. You look so good, babe. Thank you, guys. Garik actually told me not to cut it, and then I went and cut it. So I'm actually going to be making that TikTok where it was like, he told me not to cut it. Oh, he told me not to cut my hair. So I went and chopped it into a bob. I don't listen to my husband. So check out for that. <laughs> GI Fridays. The tea was broken over there. One star TGI $2 Fridays. Beer. $2 beer. That's how you know. And here, it's always Friday. It's pretty packed for a Thursday, huh? A lot of people here. They got sushi now? Now serving crispy rice. No. No? <laughs> okay, so they got like a chili type of vibes. We're gonna order one of these guys, maybe some wings, and we'll try the ribs. There's $22 for half a rack of ribs. We're gonna taste test it and see if it's actually worth this much. What do you think? Why are you yawning and shit? This is a date. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. So the appetizer is right here. Presentation is good, right? Yeah, the presentation is very good. Actually, before the food came, I dropped the water all over. Good thing I'm wearing ass clothes. We got the chips. All right, try a bit. Give it a five. Just salsa. Yeah. I'm gonna try the wings. This is the garlic, I think. Garlic parmesan. Wow. Eight out of ten. Try the, this the buffalo. buffalo. I give it an eight. Yeah, I'm gonna say Alright, Seb, so you be the judge, bro. Which one first? Anyone. We're gonna rate this as a platter, though. What do you give that? It's not bad. Not bad, right? For a one star? 
Let me try the mozzarella. Yeah, grab that. Oh, no pull action. Damn. Nah, she got the perfect pull. It was a good 9.5. I give mine a 6. For mozzarella stick? I got a bad one. I got a cold one. Let's see if the bad yeah. one is straight chili. Alright, so she got a good one. Let's see if Seth could get a cool, uh, good one. I got a cold one, that's why. Okay. Bro, what? No, I gotta re I gotta get back. I gotta get back. I don't think they like you. Alright, potatoes. That feels pretty good. Oh. Potatoes. What do you just eat it like that? I think so. Grab one too, Seth. It's like chips. These have like no flavor. No flavor? I give it a four out of ten. It's not bad if you like bacon and potatoes. Three. Three. Yeah. What do we give it as a platter, guys? I'll give it six point five. Guys, that was thirty. This is thirty dollars. Just that one plate. I think the best thing on on this platter was the mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks. The platter is not worth thirty dollars in my opinion. You just get like wings. A one star restaurant margarita. Presentation wise. It's nice, but on the thing, look, there's more chamoy. I mean, more chamoy. Oh, more right here. Yeah, I, I see that. It's pretty good. Yeah. You can't taste out. Yeah. It tastes like juice. Yeah. You gotta have to taste it. Take a big gulp. Right? Like when you breathe out? Like I don't know. I got a weird aftertaste. It tastes like it just came out of the cup, just came out of the dishwasher. Yeah. Let's have tried this shit, bro. Did you taste that aftertaste? You're not fucking with it? Yo. It was good at first. It was good at first. Guys, the first sip was good. I still have that taste. Yo, you give it a zero? I gave it a one. Yeah. One. Margaritas are one out of ten. It's not even pineapple, bro. Alright, guys, the main course has came. I got a half rack of ribs, which was $22. What'd you get, babe? Yeah, I got a New York steak, and then I got buttered broccoli, and then I also got uh, a local street corn. $30 for a New York strip steak, which this at other restaurants is like $50 to $60. Seb got the wings, whiskey glazed blaze, and this is um, apple butter barbecue. Apple butter barbecue. So $14 each. Loki, I'm gonna give the names a 10 out of 10. Those are some crazy names. Yeah. So I asked for medium rare so far. Medium rare. This is pretty good. That's a 9 out of 10. That's a 9 out of 10? Yeah. For a $30 steak? Look at how perfection that is for a $30 steak. That was this place a one star. Look at that beauty. Just eat it off my fork. We kiss anyways. What do you give it out of 10? 9. 9, right? Oh, it's a little raw right here. Oh, guys. Okay, yeah, that's raw. That's guys, raw right that's there. That's raw. Oh. All right, now I know why it's a one-star place. You're just paying $30 to eat the first couple bites and then throw the rest away. So that's kind of worth it. What do you think? What the fuck? I dropped my answer from a 9 to a 4. I'm about to send it back. Send it back? Cook it more a little? Cook it more and bring it back. The flavor's still good. I'll keep it. I'll give it a 6. 6? The flavor is there, guys, but then it, you got to send it back. The hassle and shit, you know? I'm going to try the broccoli. What do you give the broccoli? I give the broccoli, Loki, a 9 out of 10. No way. I, I just love broccoli. You want to try it? I'm okay. No, just try it. It's really good. It's butter broccoli. Not the best broccoli I've had. It's good though. It's not terrible. It's not bad. It's not bad. Seb also got a burger. What is that burger called? And how much was it? I have no idea. Alright. Kind of smells weird. No way. No, no, no. I don't want to smell it. I can smell it with my big ass nose already. <laughs> you got a four? What do you give the whole plate? It was pretty good. I would give this whole plate probably a five. Five out of ten? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Look over here. It's dry as shit right here. Oh, it's already falling off the rib. I've had way better ribs. Obviously. But for this place. Five out of ten. It was a lot better when we were kids, That's to be nice. honest. I don't like it. But I could taste the animal. What? I don't know how to describe that, bro. Alright, baby, you try it. So grab it and buy it. Alright, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's the sauce. I was like, it's good, and then I was like, oh, it's bad. And I was like, wait. And I was like, oh, fuck, it's bad, actually. All right, for $22, this is not worth $22. Would you bring a date here? <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> Yo, no disrespect, TGI Fridays. We're being honest. I know what you meant by taste the animal. You can taste I the taste animal? taste the animal, bro. <laughs> Whiskey this looks good blaze. as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. Whiskey glaze blaze. Whiskey glaze blaze. I need to taste the animal on my mouth. Pray this is good. Gas? What do you give it? I'm feeling an eight. Just by looking at you. 
No way. I give it an eight. I would order these to be honest. Mm -hmm. These are gas. Yeah, probably I would order this if you guys want them. Celery with ass though. I can taste the dishwash still in that, bro. I know. All the dishes kind of have like a dishwasher taste to it. Like, like they haven't washed it since like 50 years ago. What do you give that? A six. Six? Hey, well, I was generous. I'm not a fan of barbecue. Yeah, Seth don't like barbecue. Bust down your burger though. Hash though, Hash would have given those a 10. Yeah, Hash gives anything with barbecue sauce a fucking 10. It'll be a fucking cow's dick with barbecue sauce on it. This motherfucker will fucking choke on it. Stop it. Get some help. What do you give the, the wing platters? Out of Honestly, 10. I think I think the the like wings the, were the best. I think, in my opinion, the that, wings. Yeah. I think the wings were very good. Yeah. What do you give it out of ten? Maybe a seven point five. I, that's what I would be ordering if I came here. Yeah. Let's say like my group of friends wanted to come here. Yeah. If like out of the blue, like I was like, oh, I don't think I would ever crave TJ. I don't Friday, think I would bring you know? a girl here, or I don't think I would bring Brittany here, guys. <laughs> Let me correct myself. Holy shit, yeah, bro. Yeah, I can't really. Might get divorced. <laughs> bro, chill. That's what I thought. But yeah. I would not. I would not bring any female if like. Any female here for a date? Would you want to come here for a date? First time date? No, if a guy brought me here, I would probably stab him. What do you think? Presentation of the burger. What is that juice? The tomatoes? That onion? Oh, it's layered pretty well. You know what it looks like? Like tatali tatali. Yes, yes. Tatali tatali. Get that. Oh. Seth makes that burger look so small, bro. I know. Dude. I would not want to be fisted by Seth. Can I put my fist in? What do you give that, bro? You need a second bite? Seth needs a second bite to compliment me. What? like a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10? Okay, not bad. What do you give this restaurant out of 5 stars? I think it's supposed to be at like at least a 2.5. I was going to say that. 2.5. No, no. It doesn't do it. The reason why is because the service is very good. The service is very good. It's like certain foods like that you have to order that are good. Like I thought the, the steak, steak was, was very so good, good in the beginning. Until it was wrong. Overall review, I give it a 2.5 out of 5. These wings were the best thing over here. Would you give it out of 5 stars? Would you bring a date here? 2.5 no, I would not bring a date. What about like a date afternoon and you guys were hungry? Would you bring them here? Or would you go to In-N-Out next door? All right, let me let me put a comparison. Chili's or TJ? Chili's. What? Guys, there was maggots in the food. Bro, that was a one place. That was one location. No, that was multiple times. And the guy had already eaten the whole chicken. Ew, bro, don't even tell me, bro. Me and Garik ate red lobster one time, you guys. For oh those of you who God. love red, love red lobster, like instantly felt sick. The artichoke dip was like soup. It was disgusting, guys. But we give TJ Fridays 2.5 out of five. The bill has been here. I mean, it just got here. What We're gonna fuck? guess how much the bill is. I think it's gonna be 280. I'm gonna say it's 220 with like tip, like 240 something. Like, you know. Okay. With tip, three, two, one. 150 what? bucks. Not bad. That's actually pretty good. 150. Bucks. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. So it still remains 2.5. I don't care. Yeah. It is time for the five star restaurant review. We upgraded on the fits. You know, I got the Roly on, got the Cuban, got the G chain. You gotta put the jewelry on when you're going out for a five star meal. When you're taking out a, a babe. You should have said taking out a five star meal. Oh yeah, fuck. When you're taking out a five star meal, I'm gonna eat those crab legs. What? But, you guys, so we're literally leaving right now. There's a huge ass fucking tarantula right there. I have it. Just pick it up. <gasps> no, don't kill it. Don't kill it. No, don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Babe, don't kill it. It's scared just like us. It's scared just like us. Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Come up here, bro. Oh my god. Come up here. I got you. Oh, look, look, look. <laughs> Where did it go? Guys, it's playing dead. It's alive, though. Kicking into its home. Out of here, dude. I cannot believe we just went through that, you guys. That's like our second tarantula, not here. We've had a tarantula before in our old apartment. Basically, right now we are going to Catch LA. Obviously, there's a lot of other places. If you guys have any recommendations for me and Garik to try, please comment them down below in the LA area. We want to go out to dinners more often. Me and Garik like never do, so this is date night, babe. Later. Fuck, catch a lay. We out this bitch. 
I was trying to speak to a security guard because we're a little bit late. Our reservation was 10.45. We got there at like 11. I understand. I was talking to him so nicely. He was being rude and shit. And catch LA, you better fire that big-headed motherfucker, bro. I was going to smack the shit out of that motherfucker. Bro, sorry for my language. We live in LA. Thank God that LA is open very late. Excuse Garrick's language again. I've been to catch so many times. There was literally even one time, you guys, that I went with a group of girls. They didn't sit us. I kid you not. I love catch LA because of the food. The service though is shit. We got there at our reservation was at 8.30. They did not seat us, I kid you not, till 9.45. And then they brought out donuts and we're like, oh, this is on us, sorry about the wait. You guys sat us down at 9.45. We had an appointment at 8.30. But nah, guys, um, I don't fuck with that um treatment. So we're gonna go to another restaurant. You learn how to fucking talk to me, my boy, if you're watching this. I'll slap the fuck out of you. So we're gonna go to Toka Madera right now. Um, Toka Madera is five stars. The lady was really nice over the phone so far. You know what she said? I was like, hi, can I come in last minute for two? And she's like, of course you can come in. I was like, thank you. It's a little loud in here, you guys, so we're gonna talk a little loud. But they did put us in the back because we did say like, oh, we're gonna film. But the interior decorations, a uh, five star for me. It reminds me of Mexico, you guys, like Tulum type vibes. Yeah. I like it. Also, keep in mind, this is Brittany's birthday dinner that I never got to take her to. You can order whatever you want, baby. On daddy. We got chips and salsa. You guys saw that we got chips and salsa at the other place. So let's try it. Damn, chain glistening. What do you think? This is such good salsa. It's salsa, but it's good. Guys, look at that. Oh. Chips just came out, too. Boom. Oh. 10 out of 10. I love me some tomatoes, bro. These are like steaming hot. Yeah, they just came out of like the fire. Not a point to burn your tongue, like perfect. And the salsa is really good. It's not like spicy. It's like lemony. It's good. Oh yeah. They just explained the whole menu to us, top to bottom. They also told us they have 300 tequilas. All right, guys, so I had to switch over to a phone microphone so you guys can hear me. So we got the shishito peppers right here. Showcase it, baby. That shit looks so gas. Wow. And then we got the A5 Wagyu tacos. I'm gonna let the birthday lady, my lady right here, try the first bites. Actually? Yes, actually. So I'm gonna be trying the tacos first. Gotta put the lemon on it. You just got to. You just got to. Oh my God, they're falling, they're falling. I like it, but I think next time I'm gonna ask for them to take the, um, the sprouts out because the sprouts kind of like leave an aftertaste. You'll taste it right now. Other than that, very good. I give it 8.5. I gotta put some lemon, you know, lemon lime on top. Oh, I got it in my eye. Four. Actually? I swear. One star. No, I'm kidding. Mmm. <laughs> I know what you mean. You know what I'm talking about? Like that weird, like, plant taste. I think Boas was better. I guess it's a solid 7 out of 10. Big child. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow. These are beautiful. It is for her 21st birthday. No Thank way. you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cheers, guys. Cheers. This is a big ass shot. Yeah, we're getting freaky tonight. <laughs> Up next, shishito peppers. Shishito peppers are my favorite. I like those a lot. There's a little bit too much pepper on them, no. Look at 10 out of 10. Shishito peppers or shishito peppers? They're very good. I like them. 10 out of 10. Have a good spice to them. Daddy G's turn. Oof, look at that one. Mmm. I like that chili taste. Wow. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Yeah, I, I like how it's cooked. And it's spicy. It has like chili oil on it and everything. 10 out of 10. I'm going to be trying the passion fruit margarita. Passion fruit, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm also getting um, a guava shot right now. So I'm getting fucked up. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> That's strong, all right. It's pretty good though. It low key doesn't taste like anything. It kind of tastes like a passion fruit candy, kind of like you could still taste a little bit of alcohol, but I think I let the it sit for a little too long because it got a little watery. Overall, I will give it a nine because it's like not obnoxious with alcohol. Sometimes some margaritas are too obnoxious with alcohol and it's overwhelming, and then you get fucked up. Tastes like a margarita with I feel the Don Julio. Oh, I'm getting a little tipsy. No way. I give it a solid nine. Yeah. I fuck with it. I could drink the whole thing, yeah. Alright, we own. <laughs> what 
which piece should I grab? Oh my god. I'm gonna grab this piece right here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's the bone marrow thingy. It's okay. Oh, Babe, you're so Sorry, guys. Oof. You guys see it? You know what I'm talking about? That's that tapping it on the tongue sound. Bruh. Very good. Very delicious. I'm gonna give this a 9.5. I'm not sure if you guys would like me to cook it or you want to cook it yourself. Uh, if you want to, yeah, you can cook it, yeah. And then you guys can use the hot rock as well to cook up the steak a little more if you'd like. Okay, thank you. So this is an A5 Japanese wagon. We got a little bit of habanero salt here. Nice. Here's the Wagyu A5, $48 a piece. Can I add something in on the tomahawk? The outside of it is a little burnt. I like the burnt taste. I know, Gary likes the burnt taste. I'm not a huge fan of it, so I'm gonna lower my score back down to 7.5. Damn, away. Presentation was a 10. Presentation was a 10. Crazy. It's just because I don't like the burnt taste, you guys. I just, I never have. All right, guys, the Japanese A5 Wagyu. Completely melts in your mouth, bro. I'm taking another one. 10 out of 10. It's like butter. I'm gonna be trying the Wagyu. Melts in your mouth just like me. Wow. Holy shit. It really is worth it, you guys. Everybody, one time in their life, has to try Wagyu. One time in your life, you have to try Wagyu. That is a 10 out of 10. I got two of the tomahawks right in front of me, putting some butter on it. I'm gonna try one with the bone marrow chimichanga. What? It's also better. But one with butter. Keep in mind the tomahawk was 325 bucks. And with the butter, I give it a solid 9. 8.5. Just because the price is a lot. Like, I'd rather get a normal steak. I'm gonna try it in the bone marrow. Mmm, I like that. You like that? Guys, I give this a 9. I like it. This is the street corn. You guys know that I got street corn at TGI Fridays. It looks actually very good. It's still roasted. An actual esquite isn't roasted, it's boiled. But this is roasted corn which is perfectly fine, but it's still very good. I give this a 10 out of 10, actually. This is so good for like, compared to the TGI Friday's Mexican street board. You're gonna love this shit. I'm gonna try my bite. It's spicy. Wow. That is delicious. 10 out of 10 for this, wow. So the total comes out to 786. Well, actually 886, because I'm gonna give a $100 tip because of how great the service was. Thank you so much again, babe. I love you so much. Thank you for bringing me here. No problem, I love but you, babe. Also, thank you, you guys, for watching this video. And all the birthday wishes, man. I really do appreciate all of your guys' birthday wishes. I think I did say that already, but you guys are so kind and sweet. Okay, one, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brittany. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Even though thank it's you. September 28th, the whole month of September is my baby's birthday. Guys, if you don't know, her birthday was September 12th, but I didn't bring her out to eat yet till today. Us too, at least. But yeah. I was thankful for my Palms trip. Like, I had the best time at Palms, so I was grateful for whatever. Even if me and Garrett just stayed home, I was so grateful for whatever. I was like, I'm just blessed to see another day of life. We're gonna we kill this, guys. Everything? Okay, no. so this is vanilla ice cream, I think. Can't go wrong with vanilla ice cream. Wow, very good. This shit looks 10 out of 10 dessert. Wow, you have to just try this really quick. Oh my god, let me see that. Wow. That was really good, right? Guys, whatever the fuck this is, oh my god. This is very good. Just put the strawberry tower if you guys are here. Oh my god. <gasps> I didn't know you could crack it. Sorry, it took the spotlight. Come on, dude. That's crazy, that's unexplainable. No and way. Chocolate and peanut butter. No way. You gotta try that. I have to try it. Unexplainable, mm. right? It's the peanut butter, right? I, I couldn't catch it. Like, you guys, have you never tried the? I think they're called La Rosas. They're yeah. those, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I made garlic try those. That's what it tastes like the inside. My dad would love this. My dad would love this place in general. I have to bring him here. Yeah, I'm down. We'll I bring, bring him my here. Dad here. We killed this shit. Oh my god. I'm still eating it.
Guys, their dessert is 10 out of 10. Wow. Tell them how much of a sweet person I'm not. Like. Oh yeah, Brittany has, she does not have a sweet tooth. She will not eat chocolate, nothing. I'm a chips person. Like, I love chips. Garlic will eat like chocolates like back to back to back to back. And I'm like. I kind of like, stopped. Like I, I can't just eat sweets like that. But the fact that I'm eating all of this, you guys, take my word for it. This is fucking amazing, mom. You guys already know we had to bring the kitty for the five star review. Five star restaurant, five star ride. Okay guys, so we are back home. I feel like my makeup is like ready to come off. I'm ready to go to bed, you guys. But we forgot to do our outfits, you guys. But Brittany's wearing a nice dress, you know? And then she got the YSL heels, show them. Nice. Look at this, you guys. No You're matter, doing that on purpose. No matter even if you get 40 etching, you always have that food belly. I want to tell them where my romper is from. My romper is from Battyville. Yeah, you guys already know. Go check them out. Super cute. I love their clothes, you guys. This is really good material. I'm not even lying. Very, very, very good material. I'm wearing a Montclair shirt, some Subies. Oh my God, I want my belt. Got a Dior belt. I was gonna put my white Louis V belt, but I don't know where it is. And then we got the baby sis. Sorry guys, my energy is a little low. I am tired. As you guys saw, we reviewed TJ Friday's one star versus Toka Madeira, right? Mm -hmm. That was a five star for real. Like, they were so nice. Everything was like amazing. Five star experience. TJ Friday's, we gave a 2.5. Didn't deserve a one, but you know. I want to say one thing, um, I do not apologize for being mean to that guy. He was very rude to me. I'm a very respecting, nice person. Like, I was trying to talk to that guy with my best kindness and everything. My female was there, it's her birth. It wasn't her birthday, but it was like I took her out for her birthday dinner. We drove 50 minutes. I tried explaining it to him, but he was listening to me. So I'm like, can I just please talk to your manager? He was giving the vibes that he was about to put hands on me. So, like, I just fucking cussed that motherfucker out and he deserves it. On the app of Open Table, it says that my reservation was being held for an hour 30 but it does say that there's a 15 minute grace period but even though that there's a 15 minute grace period your table is still being held for an hour 30. I called catch to let them know that I was gonna be a little bit over the 15 minute grace period they weren't answering the phone so they said to text their number we were 30 minutes late but it said hour yeah it said and that he was, it was being a douchebag yeah it said that it was and then he tried to tell me he was like no it doesn't say that on the thing I was like I, I was like I have it and he was like well I don't know about that they give you a 15 minute grace period and if you're not here by 1045 you're not getting seated and I was like but, and he was giving hell out of it yeah and I'm I was like bro like, just give me the manager bro he was like oh like I'm not gonna bring the manager down right now like we were just like oh like we just want to talk to them to see if that there's anything that we could do like still and he's get cutting seated. us off and but, I'm like, yeah, he's like cutting us off and I was just like okay like from the experience that I've had at catch you guys they don't usually see people like at their reservation time like Fire your fucking security guard. He's a fucking bitch. But I did tell Garik at dinner, I said, babe, it's okay. Like, oh, yeah. everything happens for a reason. It does. There's a reason why we went to Token Madeira, and I was telling Garik, like, it's crazy because a lot of the food was literally, like, five-star compared to the TGI Fridays, like, the chips and salsa, oh, yeah. the steak. We were going to go to straight sushi versus we went to, like, almost the same thing that TGI Fridays had, but five stars. Yeah, so, so everything happens for a reason, guys, but still, do not let nobody disrespect you especially in front of your lady i understand he has a job and everything he might might have had a bad day but that was very unprofessional but it's all right everything happens for a reason and um thank you god for the amazing food we just ate love you guys shout out to toka madera for being nothing but kind and sweet yeah okay. guys we'll put the link in the description for that restaurant down in the description love you guys comment down below if you guys enjoyed this and want more videos like this peace love you guys